Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We are uh, welcoming you to the second round uh, of the uh, World uh, Women's Chess Championship in Astana. And our guest today is uh, Salome Melia. Hello. My question to Salome, you've been playing for uh, so many years for the national Georgian uh, team. And can you share your impressions? Is it really important and crucial for you to represent your country in such high-rated tournaments? It's a great responsibility for me to present my country on such an important uh, tournament, especially in some kind of situations in uh, my li life, some recent developments. And today it's the second round. Uh, I have played my first uh, game. I drew with the uh, Chinese representative. And uh, I can say that it's important to play for all the uh, teams on a very good level. Uh, of course, it's a very serious match that you are playing against China and you do um, uh, with the um, girl who is a junior girls champion, uh, world uh, champion and tell us about your game. Of course, we shouldn't underestimate uh, the Chinese um, uh, team, but uh, we should say that it's not uh, the strongest uh, composition because the uh, highest rated uh, players uh, are not a part of it uh, right now. And of course, we want uh, to win. And as for my game, um, it has been uh, rather dull since the uh, very uh, beginning. Uh, my opponent uh, did not uh, take any initiative and it was easy to draw for me. The position was equal from almost the uh, beginning and um, um, both opponents could do nothing with it. You have uh, finished your game but you're still here watching how other team members are playing and uh, tell us what have you seen on their boards. And quite a favorable situation is on the board uh, too. Uh, our player has extra piece for two pawns. There is a kind of compensation but uh, speaking literally um, she uh, should uh, win. And the position is not very clear on the board three uh, uh, where Javakashvili uh, uh, plays but um, let's see if she can even make a draw this would be a very good situation for us and speaking about uh, uh, Dagdin so well, let's see let's hope for the best thank you for your uh, comments and I would like to come back to the beginning of our uh, conversation and you mentioned some special circumstances in your life um, uh, because of which you are playing uh, here and can you share those circumstances with us I don't want our uh, spectators to uh, exaggerate, but anyway, it's a, a tragedy. The situation is very complicated. I mentioned my family circumstances because I have a, a daughter of uh, four months uh, old um, who has got um, uh, a health uh, uh, problem, and um, uh, this is actually why I'm playing in this tournament. Uh, I'm not only representing my country, but I'm also fighting for uh, money because I want her alive, and uh, these are. I would say two drivers for me to play well in this tournament, my family and my country. Asana, can you share with us uh, the amount of funds required and where the surgery must, have, must take place? My daughter has got congenital heart um, uh, disease uh, with uh, complications and um, there is only one ch chance uh, for her to live is the surgery in uh, Germany. We have received also response from the US but it's not real in terms of money. But speaking about Germany, it's about 60,000 uh, six, uh, euros. Uh, but of course it's important to uh, uh, realize that anyway it's a surgery on an Fund, which is not the easy thing. Uh, there is no guarantee. No one, uh, no one uh, could uh, guarantee the success of a surgery. And another important point is that the surgery should take place by the end of March. And now I'm appealing to the chess community. Um, uh, I hope that you will all can contribute and help our friend in such a difficult situation. Thank you.